controversial statements about forced sterilization. Now Republicans are distancing themselves from the party's vice chair in Arizona, former state Senate President Russell Pierce. He resigned, but the controversy won't go away. ABC 15's Navita Fergani is taking action to track down the man who used to be one of the most powerful political figures in our state, Navita. Well, Steve, I've called him multiple times today, and I've also come down right here to 301 West Jefferson where Russell Pierce works. I've sat here all day waiting for him to come out of his office, but all I've gotten today is the runaround. Is Russell Pierce available? I would have to check. You are? Navita with Channel 15. Russell Pierce was either in meetings or out of the office. It was a different story every time we spoke to staff here at the Maricopa County Treasurer's Office, where he currently works. Among his duties, overseeing the Elderly Service Assistant Fund, which helps poor seniors. And many might think what he does for the county during the day contradicts how he really feels. The question of just contradictory, the statements he made are reflective of an attitude that in the 1930s, wearing brown shirts and being a uh, uh, Nazi, uh, walking down the street yelling, sterilize the women, death to Jews. It's a bigoted attitude is what it is. Our quest to find Pierce began after hearing the September 6th clip on his talk show. First of all, I'm not sure I'd even allow food stamps to take place, but I'd certainly get rid of the Lone Star cards, no cash for ding-dongs or ho-hos. No, you know, you'd only get money for a 50 pound bag of rice and beans. If you want a steak or frozen pizza, then you'd have to get a job. And Pierce doesn't stop at food stamps. He continues his commentary to Medicaid. The first thing you do is get a woman North Plant birth control implants or tubal ligations. Ending on this note. And I know there's people out there that need help. And, I, and my heart goes out to them too. But you know what? That's, that should never be a government role. Despite saying this about the issue, Eric, if you put me in charge, things would change. Pierce is claiming those aren't his opinions, releasing a statement saying, quote, recently on my radio show, there was a discussion about the abuses of our welfare system. I shared comments written by someone else and failed to attribute them to the author. That was a mistake. And I was able to speak to the county treasurer, and he tells me that what Pierce says outside of work has absolutely nothing to do with the county, and he says that Pierce will keep his job. Uh, the, Arizona, the Arizona Republican Party would not make anyone available for comment today, but I was able to get a hold of someone with the Maricopa County GOP, Steve, and they tell me over the phone that Pierce is a really nice guy, and it's the media that's actually taking this whole thing out of context. Yeah, not the first time that he's claimed comments taken out of context or blamed the media for that matter. I guess if you'd like to hear the whole context, well, we can do that for you. Unedited, just go to abc15.com.